I'm in an old shoe factory in Shenzhen in southern China. But now the company here, BGI, has the world's largest number of gene sequencing machines. These devices analyze the DNA from people, plants, animals, bacteria. This place illustrates the phenomenal rise of Chinese science. Now, this isn't just the world's largest center for gene sequencing. It's also the world's largest animal cloning center. And that's what's going on in here. They've developed a new technique. They call it handmade cloning. Far cheaper, far easier than the normal technique that goes on in laboratories. It means they can produce about 500 cloned animals every year, a phenomenal increase in output. It's a, an industrialization of cloning technique, and they even call this a cloning factory. And this is the result of the work we saw in the lab. In this one shed, there are 90 pigs, each carrying cloned embryos. We just saw how that work is done in a surgery next door. One of the pigs under anesthetic, being prepared to have a cloned embryo inserted. This place is doing this operation and producing about 500 cloned pigs every year. Now, the technology isn't particularly new. What is striking is how China is now applying cloning technology on a truly industrial scale. That's what's remarkable about the rise of science in China. In case you were wondering about the fate of the pig we saw under anesthetic, we've just caught sight of it slowly, rather unsteadily, recovering. This is one batch of cloned piglets. The scientists here say they're doing this work to improve yields for pig farmers and also because they can give these pigs particular genetic traits which makes them useful for medical research.